Thank you for downloading Make My Day Plan. You're watching a guide for how to set up the basic elements of Make My Day Plan. There's more in-depth information and other tutorials on the site. And if there's something that you can't find, then feel free to request a tutorial by sending me an email. This is what you see the first time that you launch the app. We've got a few options there and you're currently watching the demo video. But we're just going to go ahead and begin. So we dismiss each of those popovers and then we get started. You'll notice that there's four items that we need to set up in order to begin. So that's what we're going to focus on in this video. So the first one, let's do what it says and go to dates. It shows us how to get there next time. So if you're in South Australia, then these just might be the dates uh, for the first and second term of 2013. If you're not, then you probably need to change those dates. So we can just go ahead and tap on it, and then we can select a different date. Currently, it does need to be a Monday, and we can tap Done, or we can go down and adapt the other ones as need be. End date can be any day of the week that you like. You get the idea. If you have something of different needs, you need to go to the advanced tab. We can turn on the term mode, which will display the weeks with the term number attached to it. Um, if you don't teach full time or your school week isn't Monday to Friday, then you will need to change these down here, which you can do quite easily. So you can see we've also got items like the cycle length, the daily start time, the average lesson, daily end. I think they're all fairly self-explanatory. If we go back here to progress, we can see that because we've done something to the dates, it is now green. Our next thing is the static plans. We can tap on that. It shows us how to get there next time on our own. And we can add a new subject. The idea behind static plans is that they have the same description each time they occur on your timetable. So in the case of a, a primary teacher or elementary teacher, it could be something like silent reading or when someone else takes your class. So let's use this as an example and just have silent reading. We're done. We can add in a bit of detail. Now the more detail the better, in this case we're not adding a real lot so that we can get through a bit quicker. Um, I'm going to put in a language, Okay, so you can see we've got a few options there. We can tap on them, we can edit the subject. Um, but that's. There we go, now they're green. Static plans, now the dynamic plans. Shows us how to get to the dynamic plans. So the static plans always have the same description, whereas the dynamic plans are going to be things such as your unit plans and so it'll be subjects where the content is going to change each time that they're taught which is most of what we do as teachers so we can go ahead and add a new one this one is going to be called technology and I'm simply going to show you how it works so we have here the assessment review you may have noticed at the start that we can change what they say. Um, so we can change assessment review, we can change learning activities, we can change resources. If you have uh, something else you want to call them, then go right ahead. I'm just going to show you briefly how this works. So we're teaching technology and so... Now I can move a few different ways. Um, I've chosen term mode, so it's telling me that it's term one. Um, back here, let's build something. I could swipe to get there as well, swipe to get back. Totally up to you. 
so I put something in the Monday, um, and that's week one. If I then went to Monday of week two, I can swipe to get to week three. Um, say we're teaching this subject just on Mondays and Tuesdays, so we can build on Mondays and Tuesdays. Swipe to get back to week two. And then, okay, so you can see they're slightly different. Um, we can have the resources, of course. Lots of really important things that we can put in there. Um, and then the assessment review. This is whatever you want it to be. So if you want to do it as learning outcomes, if you want to have it as assessments, what you're going to be um, assessing the children on, or the goal for the lesson, the aim, anything like that, then that's what you put in there. Um, I'm going to quickly add another subject. Science. Um, just if we did change the week number and we're on week three and then we change back to technology, you notice that week three T1 that comes up just because we've just changed subjects and it's reminding us what week we're currently programming into just so you don't get confused. Um, flip back to science, yes it is still week three. Um, tap on there and we'll put in I'll swipe swipe to get to the first one. Done. All right, so we've got two subjects in there. Obviously, you're free to add as many as you like. If we flip back now, we can see in our progress that we've done three out of the four things. So the last one is the go to day plans. There's that magic fingerprint that will show us how to get there next time. On this page, you simply list the subjects that you're going to teach and the time that you're going to teach them uh, for each day of your timetable. So we're here on Monday. We've got the default name first lesson, which of course we're going to change. Uh, we could just type over the top of it, but we're going to do as it suggests here and tap here. And then we've got a few things to choose from. There's the dynamic subjects that we created. There's also the static ones and the yard duty time slots. We can filter like this. And I'm going to start off with before school. Now I'm going to add a static item of German. You may have noticed it popped up. We can actually just move. We can change the order of things by um, dragging like that. Um, German um, end times. We can make them manual uh, and we can change them like this. So this one's going to go into 9.30 a.m. Done. Um, or we can make them automatic and then they don't be touched. The end time just matches the start time of the next lesson. So add a new lesson. Let's make this one silent reading. Add a new lesson. We'll make that one science. And then must be time for recess by now. Okay, so you get the idea. Now, <clears throat> what I can do, because I've set up the times and the lessons, I could copy them across. Um, so what I have for Monday, I could do for every day of my timetable. I've got the option here to leave the subjects blank, or I can copy those across as well. So I'm gonna do times and subjects. So every day is gonna look exactly the same. Boom, now if you have a look over here, we can see that's the case. Doesn't matter where we click, it's going to be that way. Um, let's just put technology in here as well. So that will mean Monday has technology and these days don't until we copy across times and subjects. And now they do. We can delete everything here but we don't want to do that because we just put it in. 
Um, done. Now, Monday week one, term one, because I chose the term option way back at the start. Here are my lessons for the day. If I tap on German, then I get the description that always comes up for German. I can put in something just for today and say Thomas Dentist nine o'clock whatever it is and now when I come back to it it's going to say Thomas Dentist nine o'clock every other day that we have German it's going to say that but just on that one day it's going to have Thomas Dentist um, silent reading same deal science now we put on Tuesday of week one uh, we're going to discuss the experiment back on Monday we did the sweet experiment and we can flick over to week two on the Monday and an awesome experiment number two silent reading you can see it changes like that technology let's build something um, so it's all in there and it changes as we flick through let's review it now we can get around a few different ways we can go to the timetable and we can tap on the subject and it takes us to that very day and that lesson um, we can also just swipe to get somewhere different swipe to get back up and down to get to the next and previous lessons uh, we can go around and choose from a date in the semester uh, like so and it will take us there we didn't enter anything for week 5 on Wednesday just yet um, so that's a really basic overview of Make My Day Plan and how you can set it up. There's more tutorials, as I said, and if you can't find one that helps with what you need, then please request one. Thanks a lot and bye for now.